Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this video, we are going to learn how to freeze or unfreeze multiple users at once. You can freeze a user account instead of deactivating them. You can use this in situations where the user account requires more work before deactivating it. The user property frozen is controlled in the object user login by the field is frozen. Is frozen is a Boolean field, so it is either true, frozen, or false. Open data loader. Click on export. Enter credentials. Click login. And click next. Select show all Salesforce objects. Select user login. Choose a place to save the file. And click next. Select the fields. User ID, ID, and is frozen. Click finish and yes. It is recommended to perform a secondary export against the standard user object with the following fields. Select ID, username, name, email. Combine the details from the two resulting export files using Excel VLOOKUP function. Populate or bring over the user login ID into the user export file via matching user IDs between the two files. For more information on how to prepare your CSV file using VLOOKUP in Excel, review the link on the bottom of the screen. We have also put this link in the short description of this video for you. Edit the CSV file and add the is frozen column and change the is frozen field to true for any users you want to freeze. Then delete the records that you do not need to update. Save the file. Open Data Loader and click on Update. Check the box next to Show All Salesforce Objects. Select User Login from the list of available objects. Click Browse and select the CSV created previously. Click Next. When the Data Selection Intilization dialog appears, confirm the number of records is correct and click on OK. Click Create or Edit a Map, and the Mapping dialog box will appear. Click Auto Match Fields to Columns. The column name should match up if entered correctly. If not, then drag the fields down to the column mapping. Make sure the user login is matching with the ID field. Click OK once done, and click Next. Select a place where to save the success and error files, which can be easily accessed. Click Finish and Yes to proceed. A dialog box will appear with the number of successes and errors. Let's check if the users are frozen. Log in to the org. Go to the user page and select a list view that shows frozen users. There are three users that show as frozen. To unfreeze the users, simply update the is frozen column in the update file to false and update the records via data loader. Please keep in mind that in order to follow these steps, you will need system administrator permissions. If you are interested in updating users and do not have those permissions, please contact your system administrator for assistance. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or 
Join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.